Hey guys, the next scale that we're going to be talking about on the Carpenter Square is the Octagon Scale, okay? Now, this is the Octagon Scale right here. This is on the uh, side of the tongue. The tongue is the narrow side. The body is the wider side, okay? This is the Octagon Scale right here, okay? It's those little dots and then the numbers going all the way down, okay? Now, what do you do with the Octagon Scale? Well, the Octagon Scale is used for laying out, you guessed it, an octagon, on a square post, okay? So for this example, right here, I've got a uh, four by four, all right, which as we know is three and a half by three and a half. Show you right here, okay, three and a half square. Now, what we're gonna be doing is trying to turn this, get the measurements for it to actually turn this into an octagon, okay? So first thing you do is you run a straight edge from corner to corner, and then corner to corner again, and that will establish your center X right there, okay? Once you get that center X, you need to be drawing this line here and here, okay? To do that, you can get a speed square or something similar, line it up, and then you just strike that line straight across, and then again, straight across this way, okay? And that is gonna give you your center. All right, now, here's where the square comes in. What you're gonna do is take your square and you're gonna find the length of the one side of the square and find it on the scale right here with a pair of dividers or a, a circle making compass, all right? So three and a half on this one would end up right there. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Okay, just count over. One, two, three, and a half right here. And that's what you're gonna set your compass to, okay? Or your dividers, whichever you're using, okay? Now, once you get that, what you're gonna be doing, so you wanna back this camera up just a little bit, you guess a little bit better. You're gonna put one end of your compass right here at the very end of that line, okay? You're gonna strike a little mark right there. Do the same thing over here on this side, okay? And be kind of careful, it's really easy for your compass or your dividers to fall right off the edge of this. So just take your time, nice and easy, nice and slow. Doing the same thing over here. Again, referencing right off of that center line. Striking my lines, striking my lines. And we're gonna do this all the way around, okay? Now, when exactly would you be doing this in the real world? When is this actually useful or helpful? Well, a long time ago when they were doing timber frame construction, sometimes they would have to do certain things to the logs and to uh, actually get them to fit appropriately, okay? So that's where some of these tricks and techniques came from. But for a lot of you wood turners out there, you know that it's a lot easier to start on your lathe when you have an octagon shape. And if you've made octagons before on your table saw, and I know there's tricks on, out there on how to do it, it can actually be off a little bit. And if you're off and you're using a lathe, it could be a little out of balance. If it's out of balance, then it starts doing this when you're turning, it starts bouncing all over the place and it's really, really rough on your tools and on your skews, all right? So this is kind of a uh, real-world application where this might be useful, all right? Especially if you're using bigger stock, all right, like this, or you're using something really, really large. Say that you're turning for, you know, whatever reason, a 6x6 six six or an 8x8, eight eight, really, really large timbers, okay? So anyway, we've got all these marks, all these little hash marks right here, and all you're going to do is get a straight edge and connect the marks, Okay? You're gonna do that all the way around, just like this. Line it up, strike your mark, and last one over here, line it up, and oops, strike your marks, just like this, okay? Now hopefully, I know it's kinda of hard to see with the, uh, the wood grain how it is, you see the shape of the octagon. And from here, obviously, you take that to your table saw, 
you would drop your blade down to 45 degrees and you would bump the fence over enough to get um, the cuts that you need keeping your blade on the outside of the lines right through here okay but just to double check make sure that everything is working properly we're gonna measure it got right about one and a half inches here check the top about an inch and a half bottom about an inch and a half I know you guys can't see that one but over here inch and a half okay it's all there is to it guys pretty useful scale um, you're not going to use it every single day so uh, feel free to reference this video uh, whenever you need to to uh, just get a little quick refresher on uh, how to do it all right thanks for watching